Hi Capricorn, this is a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs and it is going to be general so it might resonate for some of you and might not resonate for others of you um, but you can check out one of your other signs if that is the case or one of your person's other signs. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So let's get into it and see. What are the major themes for Capricorn first half of April? All right, we have mute and we have refocus. Okay, so it feels like there is a little bit of a not communication type of a situation going on here where somebody might be holding um, back from communicating, maybe you're holding back from communicating, maybe somebody ghosted you or the other way around, or it could just be that someone is withholding some information, not really expressing themselves much. Either way, there is a refocus of, um, I feel like your energy or their energy is moving away from that. So let's see, and when I say moving away from that, I feel like not even focusing on it anymore, just trying to redirect your attention in a different way or to something different that, well, that will be a little bit more expressive. So let's see. All right, okay cards got a little bit stuck there. Could be some resistance here, which could be why this person is not talking, whether that is you or them. So let's see, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of April. So for the situation, we have the Seven of Pentacles crossed by the Lovers. All right. So it feels like there is a situation here where there is a strong bond um, between you and another person. And it feels like there has been some, possibly some waiting. I feel like there has been some effort that has been put forth either from you or from them. But there's still some kind of a resistance when it comes to actually bringing this together. So let's, let's move on and see. The recent past, we have the Queen of Swords. And for the near future, we have the Four of Swords. All right, okay, yeah. So here's that distancing. I feel like there has been um, some, some kind of a withdrawal, all right, in the recent past. And I do feel like whatever this is, whatever the situation that is going on for you, there is some healing that is coming up. Let's see for... <clears throat> your energy here we have the two of swords for them we have the five of swords all right there's a lot of swords for a capricorn reading um so it could be that you're dealing with an air sign for some of you um we also have gemini out on the table do let me know if that is the case but i feel like there's a lot of overthinking when it comes to this um, connection and so I am happy to see that refocusing because I feel like you know there may have been a lot of just too much going on in the headspace for the both of you actually and there seems to be a new direction um, away from that Let's see more about you here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, good. <laughs> For them, the King of Wands. And potential outcome here, we have the Ten of Swords. All right, don't, don't fret, Capricorn. Don't fret. I still see this as being um, pretty positive, the way, the direction that it's moving in, even if it does um, require some kind of an ending to a cycle. All right, potential outcome does not mean forever. It's just the potential outcome for the current situation. All right, so we're actually going to clarify. I see you as not being really sure which way you want to go. So yes, there is this refocusing, but it also feels like you're kind of doubting or you, you feel like 
even though you're not sure which way to go, there is also this sense of, yeah, but this can't work or this hasn't been working. Like there's just no way that we can come to some kind of a an agreement or seeing things eye to eye kind of a thing. And so I feel like that's why you are moving in a new direction here with this Ace of Pentacles, trying to lay out a new path for yourself, um, whether it be with this person or, or without this person. Um, for them, they have the Five of Swords and the King of Wands. There may have been some deceit that happened here, or maybe there was some dishonesty um, that may have created a lack of trust as well in the connection. Um, so that could be why there is this lack of communication. However, this person does still still feel very strongly for you, even if they have been deceitful. Um, yeah, that doesn't mean I'm not <clears throat> saying whether you should take this person back or not if you're given that opportunity, okay? Because sometimes you guys, some of you... Um, just make that assumption in the comments and I'm not saying that it's it's completely up to you all I'm saying is that this person does still have strong emotions for you all right now we do have the ten of swords in the potential outcome so I feel like yeah you know there's someone is going to feel um, a painful ending here and to be honest I feel like it is the other person and not you but let's see Let's clarify. So let me see the Seven of Pentacles and the Lovers. All right, we have the Star, the Seven of Cups, and the Lovers again. Yeah, so there was definitely something strong here. There was definitely a very strong bond. Um, I feel like it was something that Again, it feels like there was a lot of effort that was placed by by one of you at least. Maybe even the both of you. Um, it could be that there was something else in between the two of you here. And I'm saying that because of the Seven of Cups and the lover showing up twice. So it could be, and, and oftentimes the lovers is about having two people... Um, that someone is dealing with okay so that could have been the case for you and maybe that is what this deception is doesn't have to be but it definitely could be it could be that you felt like you were an option for some of you um i feel just that there was a lot of confusion in this in this connection to begin with i mean it could be that there still is confusion even though i do feel like you're moving away from that but this was something it's difficult because this was something that felt very strong. This is something that felt, it, it just felt like you both wanted this and that it was um, something you both wanted to heal. I feel like whatever this is, this, this, this deception or this mistrust, whatever, I feel like there was this chance, you felt like there was this chance where you may have been able to fix it, to heal it. And I feel like that just hasn't been working out exactly. Let me see the Queen of Swords in the recent past. Ooh. All right, we have the Chariot, the Tower, the Empress, and one did fall on the floor. And it is the Two of Swords. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because I, even though I feel like it could be that this person um, is the one who might be ghosting you, I feel like you, you are the one that kind of cut it out. Either that or you just um, became aware of some truth here. Something that really caused this relationship or this connection to move in a new direction, in a new way, which I feel was not... Um, it was not very pleasant. And it caused a lot of uncertainty, a lot of mistrust... But I feel like you decided to cut this out in any way that you, you can. Um, it may have been difficult. It may have been difficult. It may have felt like 
just a very difficult um, ending almost, all right, with this tower, but that caused you to also stand in your power and decide to move in a new direction. And I feel like that that's what that refocus is, even though there is still a little bit of a, um, that two of swords energy is still with you of really not being sure and not knowing exactly what is going on here or what, what this, you know, you might be redirecting your focus, but you don't know what you're really redirecting it to. So let's actually clarify that to a source. The Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah, it's, I feel like you're, I feel like you're running away from this actually. Um, And that could be a good thing. It, it could be a good thing. I feel like you're really just trying to escape this situation because you feel like, you know, there's just no way that this can, that this can work. Even if you do feel that lover's energy, you, you do feel that strong connection, you feel like it's going to be too painful um, to just stay. And so you're doing what you can for yourself. Let me see the Ace of Pentacles. one we got the king of wands yeah you're i feel like what you're the, the fact that you're moving away from this um you're opening up a new potential for yourself for something that is going to be just a lot more mature or a lot more um what's the word it, it's going to be something more more courageous like having opening the door for something to come in whether it be this person or whether it be um someone else who actually wants to fight for you who's actually going to have a lot of drive and a lot of passion for you okay and i feel like you're doing this and you're very um i feel like you're very determined actually for this i feel like you're you're just really standing in your power um, trying to just be firm with making a decision here. Even if you do have some hesitations, it's like you're, you're trying to bypass those and focus your, your energy away from this. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the five of swords. All right, the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. I'm not taking the other two that flipped over because, well, it's too many, but I will call them out. It's the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords again, which is the card that we're clarifying. Yeah, okay, see, so I do feel, again, as I said, that Ten of Swords, which is here the potential outcome, again, I feel like that belongs to them. Um, I feel like they're the ones who are going to feel um, like this is an ending that they might just regret because, I mean, look, like I said, they feel that, they still feel that passion for you. They still want you. Um, and here it is showing up again with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. But they feel like, you know, like it, it might be done. Like now there is no way that after whatever it is that has happened that they can come um, forward. And I feel like, yeah, so that's why they have this this Eight of Swords as well. They just feel trapped and within their own minds about this because, you know, there was something here that was mistrustful and now they just feel like it is done. And so they don't know how they could possibly come forward with this offer for you. It's almost like they feel like there's no saving it. So let's see the King of Wands for them. All right. Ooh. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and Justice. I'm almost feeling like this is someone else. Um... 
because we also had the king of wands show up here where it really felt to me like it would be someone else even if it's the same person if it's the same person it's this person showing up in a very very different way um but i'm actually gonna risk and say that i feel like you are opening up the door to someone else here um by moving away from this and by refocusing your energy away from this situation here um whoever this is all right whether it be the same person and i just you know trust that you would intuitively know and if you don't that's okay you know let it play out and you will see this person whoever this is that is coming in here they're coming in with a lot of um, stability, commitment, courage, um, drive, like I said, wanting to fight for you, wanting you um, mature, maturity, lightheartedness, and I feel just somebody who is very respectful and is in the, holds this integrity of justice. Now, if it is the same person for some of you, and like I said, it could be for some of you, okay? Because we have the Three of Cups, which is like a reconciliation from someone from the past. Or this could be somebody new, not this person, but somebody that is also from your past. However, if it is the same person that we're talking about, they're, they're coming through wanting to fix things, wanting to really make things right, wanting to really um, have a proper commitment here that is going to be Again, with integrity. So let me see the Four of Swords for the upcoming future. All right, we have the Five of Swords and we have the Four of Pentacles. All right, that's interesting. I feel like this is you actually <clears throat> being able to just put this situation of the Five of Swords, whatever that was, of this other person to rest. Um, I feel like this might be something that you you were holding on to or you have been holding on to and I feel like you're actually able to heal from this whereas I feel like your person is still holding on um, to the situation, even if they are ghosting you, even if they are ignoring you, even if they're not talking to you. Which again, it could be that you are the one not talking to them because of this. Someone's not talking to someone though. Someone is holding something back. Um, but this is how this is coming through. That Five of Swords is their energy and I feel like they're still holding on to the situation and to what happened. They're still feeling that, that pain of it and a regret of it. Whereas I feel like you are, are moving on and you are healing from this. So let's see that Ten of Swords. The Page of Wands and the Five of Cups. Yeah, so there's still, see, there's still that drive from this person. Um, this is definitely your person here thinking about the past, um, feeling regretful, feeling guilty, feeling all of these things. But again, I, I feel like you're healing from it. So I don't know. I mean, it's really going to be up to you. It's going to be your decision because there is someone coming in here. Showing up as this king of wands, offering you a ten of pentacles um, and being very, very... Um, honest so that's going to be your call you know if it's this person doing that this person is going to be regretful i can tell you that all right they do feel a lot of guilt and remorse for the situation and wanting to move forward wanting to do something about it but really up to you so yeah let's Let's see if this resonated for you. Let's get the final message for Capricorn. All right, and we have breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. Yeah, and I feel like that's you. I feel like you, this is you finally being able to break free from whatever pain this has caused you and moving towards that healing. 
opening up a new path for you that's going to bring in something um, beautiful whether it is this person coming back in a different way or whether it is someone new all right capricorn those were your messages thank you so much for watching much love